Well, Alan, Michael Craig's family says the 61-year-old had been the victim of domestic violence. They say his wife stabbed him several years ago and again last month. But when police responded to that incident, they say he was the one targeted and killed. It was the morning of October 4th when the first of two 911 calls were placed about a domestic disturbance between Michael Craig and his wife. Craig had told his young son to ask a neighbor for help. That neighbor made the call. The son is six years old. I think he knocked on my door, woke me up, and I he said, Mom, got a knife. The second call was from Craig himself, saying his wife was attacking him with a knife. Hello? I need the police over here. My wife got a knife on me. She got the knife around my neck right now. I can't move. If I move, she's going to kill me. Body cam video shows officers arriving at the apartment building in the 7700 block of South Carpenter. They meet Craig's son outside, who tells them again what's happening. He said, my mommy has a knife to my daddy. Michael Oppenheimer is the attorney for Michael Craig's family. They had been lobbying for the release of the video because they say police wrongly targeted Craig, who was the victim of domestic violence. It seems that they knew that this man was the victim from the very beginning. And yet what they did was they targeted him from the very beginning. Body cam video shows the officer walking up the stairs to Craig's apartment, taking out his taser. Screams are heard, and the officer also draws his firearm. And a man and a woman are seen fighting in the apartment. It is here where we are freezing the video. Both the taser and the gun are fired, hitting Craig. He goes down, and a second shot is fired. Officers repeatedly check the woman for injuries, but she does not answer them while Craig lays dying. My dad laid there like a dog and died. Craig's family wants CPD to reform how it responds to domestic violence situations. This will not be the last time that something like this happens if the city of Chicago don't change its ways. Well, the current status of the police officer is not known at this time, but COPA is still investigating this incident. Also, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office confirmed that this incident is also under review by prosecutors and the Law Enforcement Accountability Division.